This video shows how to use Excel to quickly identify data patterns. So in this example, I'm just going to use, I'm going to pretend that I have 30 days worth of sales data, and I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways you can format that data quickly. And of course, you could use this with lots more data. This is just a small sampling. Also, the data could represent almost anything. It could be um, grades from tests you took, or the amount of exercise you got in a day, or um, investing in retirement funds, uh, you know, it could be almost anything, mileages or anything you wanted it to be. But the idea is just to have a set of data that you're tracking. And if you can get it into Excel, then from there, you can actually make the data valuable and useful because you can look at, um, in this instance, for sales. Let's say I want, let's say I want to know what my slowest days were, but without having to shuffle through 30 days worth of receipts or something else. If I have the numbers in one place, I can use Excel to do all kinds of different conditional formatting that easily bring my attention to whatever it is I'm actually looking for. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to show you um, several different ways you can use conditional formatting to do that. So in this example here, I, as I mentioned, here's my gross sales and I just have a bunch of random numbers in there. On the home tab in Excel, this is where you want to be, and you want to select your data and then you go to conditional formatting and you're going to say at the first one I'm going to show is top 10 or top bottom rolls. So it's going to be top 10 items, bottom 10 items, top 10% or bottom 10% and also above or below average. So each of these is going to give you different results based on whichever one you select. Keep in mind in this example with sales, uh, lower numbers are going to be probably bad, right, sales, and higher numbers are going to be better. So in this instance, if I was trying to make my business better, I would probably look at the bottom numbers, the bottom 10% or the bottom 10 items, and that might be something different for your data. So just keep in mind, what kind of data are you tracking? Are high numbers good or bad? Are low numbers good or bad? In this instance, I'm just going to say, show me the bottom 10% because I've only got like 30 days worth of data in here. So the bottom 10, that's going to show me a third of my data. That's not necessarily as helpful. Um, it's not as specific. So this is going to give me narrow results so I'm gonna say bottom 10% now you can already see there's a bunch of things highlighted and if I wanted to I could increase this a little bit maybe I want to know 15% or even maybe 20 and you can see some more show up uh, also I can change this to whatever color I wanted um, I could do a red border which is doesn't stand out really as much to me some different whatever is good for your eyes if you have any color blindness or blindness or anything like that some of these other things might be better for you pick what works for you it's totally up to you and then I'm going to say okay and now I can look and I can if I knew what days of the week these were like it would be smart if I were to put these in like with the first day of the month or maybe I even put in what days of the week so I kind of know like oh maybe it's always Sundays that are slow or whatever it may be these are ways that you can help track that if it were exercising maybe you know um, Fridays are bad because you're exhausted by then or maybe Mondays are bad because you know you're just mentally not there it, these are the ways that you can help track those things by formatting the data in a, in a quick way instead of having to scroll and while it may not seem like much here if I had this entire sheet filled with worth of data you would see how much more valuable this conditional formatting is this is a very small limited view of it but with more data this becomes so much more valuable so I'm going to click on another sheet. I just set up the exact same data like several times so I could show you a bunch of different ones. So with the same data selected again, I'm going to go back to conditional formatting and I'm going to select color scales. <clears throat> now color scales are going to be quite a bit different than the top bottom rolls. The top bottom rolls are only showing you certain data other than the above average and below average. Those are going to give you, you know, like a lot of data, right? Color scales are going to show uh, formatting on every single scale based on its number or its value related to other cells around it. So if I were to pick any one of these and I'm just hovering over and the nice thing is these apply when you just hover, it tells me what it's doing and it also shows me what a preview of what it's going to look like. So this would be what it would look like with the yellow, green yellow color scale, excuse me. I could also do red to white or I could do red, white, and blue. You know, there's very, there's a ton of different things you could pick, right? Um, I kind of like this red to white one. So I could pick this, and if I did, then it's going to apply it to my data, and now I can look and see, this is sort of almost backwards in a way, because now for me, what shows up in dark red, which normally we associate with negative or bad, in as far as numbers, is my highest numbers, instead of being like green. And then the, the lowest number I have is just completely white. So that might not work for me. So I'm going to select color scales again and I'm going to pick the other direction so see how these alternate you can see it's hard, probably hard to see but trust me it goes white red then it goes um, to red white so I'm going to pick this one and now my bad numbers are very dark 
and like these numbers down here also not as dark um, I still don't know if this is a, is as helpful as the first view for me and my particular data but this would be helpful for many types of data so I want you to see it um, and the other again keep in mind this one is basically coloring and everything in a certain shade where in my first one it's only pointing out certain ones it really draws your attention so again depending upon your data depends on how you might want to look at it so here's um, again the same data I'm going to select it again I'm still on the home tab and I'm going to go to conditional formatting and I'm going to say data bars these are kind of fun so from data bars I'm going to if any one of these I hover over you'll be able to see it take effect so this for me once I do this it gets hard to see the numbers on the left because it's black so if I were to pick something like this I would probably change the font so you could still see the numbers well um, the problem with that is then the ones that didn't have the numbers it might be hard to see those so you, this is a little bit harder for me to use the solid fill um, depending upon what colors you're using um, the yellow probably is fine yellow is fine <clears throat> it, but probably what I would do is I would probably do a gradient I pick one of these pretty gradient colors and then once I apply that you can see so again it's a very visual like graph like so if that's what works with your brain if that's what makes sense for you here's how you can find out you know you immediately I'm drawn to this one because it's so small right again down here um, so this is again another way to make the data stand out so that you can try to find patterns once you have you know specific you know specifically narrowed down to what you're looking for then you can ask the questions like why were these days slower were there really big days the day before like in this instance so maybe I'm not as worried about this day or was it a pattern were there a couple bad days in a row with you know these really big days was there uh, some new marketing campaign that went out was there something new that went on sale you know was there a big sale of, of norm the stuff you've already had these are the kinds of things that you would ask if you had if you were um, you know sales if this was sales if it were exercise you might ask things like you know was I really exhausted that day did I not get enough sleep the day before or, you know whatever it may be did I overdo it and I hurt something no matter what kinds of data you have if you can put it in Excel and then you can put the conditional formatting on it you can find patterns and then you can figure out how to make the patterns better that's basically what this is all about so next I'm going to show you again same data I'm going to go conditional formatting and I'm going to say icon sets. These are really fun um, if you're a visual person in the sense that colors don't necessarily do it for you, but shapes do. Um, this is another way to do that. So these are, I mean, these get, I love this one. This is actually one of my favorites because it is so obvious what I'm looking for and what I'm looking at. Um, the same thing with some of these. Now, because for me, because these are black around the outside edge or that dark gray, they all sort of blend together. But like this draws my attention more. So it's, again, it's all in what works for you. Everybody is going to see these things differently and connect with something different. Um, I really like this one, so I'm just going to click on that one. And if I look at that, how easy is it to see these red X? So easy. Your eyes drawn to it immediately. And the green checks. Woohoo! I did good those days, right? So then last but not least, on the last one, I'm going to have my data selected. I'm going to say conditional formatting and I'm going to say new role because there might be a time when these don't really do it for you and these are great because they're kind of built in and they're super easy to use. Um, the top bottom rules are nice because even though they say 10% or 10 items you can actually change those as you saw but I'm going to say new role and these will let you do pretty much all the things that we just did so um, based on their values top or bottom like that's what we were just talking about top 10. Uh, values that are above or below average that was also in the top bottom it so these are you can do kind of the same things except for the other ways a little bit quicker to pick but this one also has format only unique or duplicate values so that was not in the other list so if that's something you're looking for like you might have um, an email list or any kind of list of clients or people or whatever that's for um, if you have duplicate names you don't want to mail stuff out twice me right who like how, how many people have gotten magazines or something in the mail like you know advertisements twice and you're like wow the, what a waste of paper because like you know one had my name spelled differently or one used my middle initial and one didn't like what a waste so this is how you can prevent yourself from wasting that those resources and that time um, so the, another thing you can do is you can say um, format only cells that contain so this is really cool so in this one maybe I'm just looking for um, I'm not looking for the top 10 percent but I just need to know everything that's under you know eight hundred and twenty dollars maybe let's just say so I'm gonna say sell format only sells with so maybe that's my break-even point right I've lost money if I don't make that much so I'm gonna say sell value is less than or equal to and I'm gonna say eight hundred and twenty 
And then there's no format set here. So it's that's why the preview is blank. So I'm going to say format and I'm going to pick a color. And so since this means I didn't do well, I'm going to make it red. And I'm going to say OK. And now anything that's under 820 is going to show up here. So if I had something or anything 820 or under, excuse me, because I said greater or less than or equal to. So if I had a number in here, if I had actual 820 in here, it's going to show up. So that's where this is super handy that creating a rule, because if I go back up here and just show you again, you can create anything you want based on this one, basically. Format so only cells that contain. So what I didn't show you or I didn't stop long enough to really show you is it, you can do between, not between, equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. You can pretty much get any number you want with this kind of flexibility. And then from there, you just give your numbers. So there's so many ways this data can be used, um, or these uh, these options, I should say, on your data. And then that, from there, you can find out anything you need to find out about your data, right? From there, you can go, you know, what happened, or why did this happen, or what can I do to prevent it again, right? Or why did it happen because it was great, and how can I make it happen again, right, if it's sales? So these are basically all the different world ways you can create um, you quickly like find patterns in your data in Excel and it's really just conditional formatting. So hopefully this will help you uh, figure, think of some of the data that you're collecting and how you could format it in ways that could help you in whatever you're trying to do. So that's how you quickly identify pattern data patterns in Excel and I hope this was helpful.